Hey everyone, this is Stephen Humphrey here again from Go Engineer, and today we're going to talk about how to build custom column sets in a PDM and why you might use different column sets for different reasons. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our administration tool. Um, and we're going to be working out of this, you know, dummy Acme default vault we have here. Um, there's already some things configured, um, but we'll go through on some reconfiguration of some of the items, um, but it's fairly straightforward. So, you know, the first question I get from a lot of customers is, well, I want to view, you know, the specific information in my file explorer while I'm, you know, navigating through my folders and files. And I want to see certain things um, about those files and in a specific order. Um, and this is never really a black and white answer because, you know, as most people know with Windows File Explorer, you open Windows, you know, you open up the File Explorer on Monday and it, it looks one way and then you close it, restart your computer, uh, open it up on Tuesday and, and all of a sudden it looks different for some reason. Maybe it's in, in a different view instead of a list or details, it's in an icon view. Maybe some of the columns are rearranged. Um, so PDM has this columns feature that allows you to set a prescribed specific set of columns based on the variables that you want to use, whether it's like a PDM system variable or a, uh, you know, a custom defined variable. And you can organize those columns however you see fit. And you can also give permission to certain people and or groups to have access to certain column sets based on you know, their role within, within the company. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. Um, once you're in your vault, um, and this is also, uh, you know, there's other things we use columns for beyond just the file explorer. Um, we'll go into that in more detail, but you expand your columns node here and you'll see that I have, you know, a couple columns already, column sets already created here, right? I have one for engineering, I have one for management, and I have one for a search tool. So let's go ahead and just open up um, the one I have here created for engineering and let's kind of walk through and digest some of the things that are going on in here. So the first thing that it's going to ask you is to provide a name for the column set. Uh, I can really name it whatever you want, but I would recommend using something fairly straightforward um, or descriptive. In this case, I just call it column view, ENGR for engineering. Uh, and then you have to tell it what kind of type of column uh, set this is. So the default is going to be a file list, right? Which is what you're going to see later in the Windows File Explorer. However, there's other options here. There's a search result, the quick search result, and we'll go into those in more detail later. Um, but for now, we're going to stick with the file list. And then as you can see here, you have this little preview window here, and it kind of shows you, you know, what your columns look like. And if you adjust it uh, here in real time, the width of that column updates. So let's try to keep it maybe in that 200 range. And then, you know, you put them in order, right, from, from left to right. So whatever the order is here from top to bottom is the order they'll be in from left to right. So I've got description, revision, version number, drawing number, and material as some columns here that I'd like to see. Um, we'll, we'll go over this section here in a minute um, down here. But for now, I first want to kind of look at this because these permission settings over here are kind of important because this is who's going to have access to this column set. And uh, when they log in, you know, this is essentially what they're going to see. So I, I have some things set here kind of uniquely, right? I have a couple of users set. I'll uncheck these users because I'm going to control it by the, uh, the groups rather. So you can, you know, search if you have a lot of groups, but in this case, we only have so many. Um, I'm also going to add administrators here as uh, permissions to have access to this column set. And as you can see, engineering already has access to it. Um, the configurations component down here, um, if you wanted to make different column views for different configuration types, you could say, look for, change this radio button here to look for variable in given list of configurations and then go through this setting here, but I'm not gonna go into detail 
on how to do this. Um, if you'd like to know more about it, feel free to reach out and we can, um, we can definitely give you guys some information on the configuration setting. In this case, we're just gonna do the look for variable in all configurations, which is the default option here. Um, and like I said, if you wanna create a new column, you just kind of arrange them in here um, as you go. So we can go ahead and click off any one of these uh, rows here that we have and say new column right here in this little section. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to default to the first variable in your variable list, which is this underscore SW last save with. Um, so obviously we're going to change that because we don't want to see that. We want to see something else. So when you open up the drop down menu for a variable, it's going to show you a list of not just all your user defined variables, but also system variables, which are going to be in here with the greater than, less than brackets. Um, so things like category, file type, um, name, size, state, version number. Some of these are really useful um, to have in your column view. So, you know, something that I might be interested in is um, maybe checked out in or category or, you know, we'll add uh, associated item. Uh, and then what we can do is we can name, rename this if we wanted to, right? Um, in this case, I'll just leave it the default name. And then we have some alignment options here. You can default left justified, right justified, or center justified. In this case, we'll just stick with the left um, alignment. And then a width. So the width is, I believe it's pixels. So if I change this you know, to like 125, you're going to see now that it went a little wider. And I'm going to leave it here at the end, but I could, by choosing these up and down arrows here, I can move it up, I can move it down, and I can reorder these in really any, any order I want, right? So that's how you add an item into your column set. Um, it's pretty easy as well to delete an item. If I wanted to go ahead and delete this uh, associated item, I'd just go ahead and hit delete, and it would go away. Uh, so that's pretty much it when it comes to building columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And some other things that might be useful to see uh, with regards to columns is like on the group level, like if I come to my administrators group here and in the group permissions and properties, I'm gonna get this column view. So in my administrators group, they're set to use the engineering column view, right? So you can, in addition to setting the permissions here, I can also go over to my groups and or users and, and specify which column view they should be using, right? Um, so let's go ahead and jump over and take a look at what this column view actually looks like. So I'll open up my vault here and we'll go back to the root of the vault maybe. And here's my columns, right? Now, when you initially do this, these might all, in the order you prescribed, get thrown to the very end here, like associated item. You can see that here now. Since I added it after I initially created this and rearranged these, it went ahead and sent it all the way to the end. So you might have to go over here to the end of your um, scroll bar here in your horizontal view and grab your columns that you recently added and move them into the position you want. So the, you know, where these columns sit um, with respect to some of these other ones that are you know, in here by default, like file type and maybe size modified. Some of these are window, you know, windows column, columns that are default in, uh, in the file explorer. You might have to move them around, but once you position them where you want them, um, generally speaking, they should stay there. They should not move terribly too much. Um, again, exceptions are, you know, you shut your computer down or crash, you reopen it, and, you know, File Explorer got reset for some reason. When you log into the vault, these aren't going to go away. They're not just going to magically disappear, but they might get reorganized in a weird way for some reason, which you can always come back in and rearrange them however you see fit. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my projects folder. Let's go to project three. CAD files, and here I can see, you know, what why columns are useful in the first place. I can quickly 
get you know useful information about files um, just by quickly looking at these variables and properties associated with them right i can see that this the name of this file with the extension you know has the solidworks icon next to it which obviously is nice to have when you have you know the application installed i have the drawing number which is the same as the file name i have my revision my version my state the category uh, here's my associated item column which i'm not really using but it's there you can see we added it um, so you can you could imagine in, in different scenarios where different you know variables in these columns might be relevant to different groups or people so in this case i'm in engineering and i want to see you know right up here front and center i want to see the drawing number the revision the version the state but maybe i'm in manufacturing and i want to see other information you know maybe i want to see some of this but maybe i also want to see material finish vendor um, you know manufactured or purchased you know any any other information that might be relevant to that particular group a group of people or individuals you know you can specify that assuming you have the variables created and you know the metadata associated with those variables uh, has been entered you can display it right here in any fashion you really want um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick, you know, new SOLIDWORKS part, and it's going to give me the opportunity to provide a description. So test, you know, part for column view is my description. My material is, you know, maybe it's 316 stink steel. Um, and that's all I got. I have to provide a revision target here just for the way that this data card is set up. Hit create file, in she goes, check it in. And there it is. So I have my description right there, version, my state category. There's my material. Maybe I want to move this over and see that next to the drawing number. Um, so pretty straightforward stuff, you know. And there's a lot of instances where you might want to change your column view after you've initially created it. Or maybe, you know, the view that you like, maybe someone else wants a different view and you can create that for them as well. So that's really the gist when it comes to column views with regards to navigating the file explorer and looking and manipulating with files. There's one special column view I want to take a quick look at and that's a search column view. So I already have one here created called column view search. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this one. And it's pretty much the same thing as a file column view, but you'll see here that the type is now a search result, right? Now, quick search and search, you know, they're a little different, not terribly too different, but um, quick search, you can go ahead and assign some permissions here to who has access to that particular um, search tool, but in this case, we'll just default search result. Search result. Um, and here, uh, I have a lot more information, right? I've got my file name, which is a system variable, my document number, my description, the drawing number, the state, which is a system variable, checked out by, also system, modified system variable, found in version system variable, category system variable, and maybe I'll add something else like material. I feel like materials useful information to have. Maybe we'll make that, you know, center justified and call it, you know, 80, 80 width. So that's pretty much the same exact process as creating a file column view, but there's one other step once you've created this search result. So why would you create a search result column view to begin with? Because maybe you want to see specific information about the files you're searching on. That's different than what you're seeing in your default column view. But if I want to apply that search column uh, file view set to an actual search from within PDM, I have to go to that search card, which in this case is my complete search, right? And I'll open up my complete search. And I have the, op the option here to specify which column set to use. So it's already set to use the column view search, but I could use the default column view. I could use a new column set, which now automatically prompts me 
to create one, um, which is another way to invoke the column view creation command. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use the one I created, my column view search. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll go back to our file explorer. And I'm going to go to the root of the vault. And now I'm going to open up, whoops, not there, my complete search tool. And we'll just look maybe at files that all have SLDPRT file extension in their name. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of files in this vault. But here's my column view with regards to my, uh, my search, right, that we created. So got my file name, the number, checked out by, description, drawing number, state, when it was modified last, uh, what version it's found in, category, and the material. The material being what we added last. I could always bring that up over here and put it further up. But that's pretty much the gist and the basics. Um, again, hugely useful tool. Um, you know, every person, every group is unique and they might have different requirements or um, you know, needs when it comes to what they see while they're navigating through the vault in File Explorer. So just a quick recap, this is columns right here in the columns node. And if you wanna create a new one, it's just easy, right click, new column set. And we've already gone over the anatomy here of the new column set dialog window, how to create it, um, save it and assign it either directly within it here with the permissions or within the group level permissions uh, or user level permissions directly on the front page here. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vi video. As always, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook, and please you know, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments or are looking for just help with you know, PDM related tasks. So thanks again.